I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, but this is the best way to get like your drum bounce. What's up, y'all? Sorry for the delay on the video today. Wheezy, who is a top tier producer who is well known for producing many of Gunna's top songs, has somewhat of a signature sound. I've noticed, and I'm sure that a lot of you guys have noticed, that he produces a lot of slower beats with hard hitting drums, and in there there's some guitar and flute and whatnot. And those personally have always been some of my favorite beats to make. So in this tour, I'm showing you guys from scratch how to make those slow, dark type melodies, and also how to get those signature hard hitting Wheezy drums. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into this. First, I want to start off with my tempo setting, and for the tempo setting, I want to go a little bit lower. You know, a good amount. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm at 112 BPM, and I'm in Electro X here, and I have this sound right here. And I thought that this was the perfect sound just to make like a beginning main melody and just like beginning chords because what Wheezy starts off with in a lot of his like dark beats is he has like just like um an ambient kind of chord progression playing in the back. That's like really like the beginning and the foundation of the entire beat. And so that's that's really what I want to get down. <laughs> I want to just do that right there and then make another chord right there. I want like a little pause right there. what I did was I just experimented with some different chords and I really want to keep like that dark tone I want a chord progression that's gonna be like dark as a foundation basically I turned down the attack on the Electra X and I added some gross speed here it's just like on the tremolo effect it just really helps to add like that bounce to the melody and you guys will hear it like in the beat like how it sounds like with the drums and everything it sounds just spectacular I actually want to clone Electra X again and I want to layer this sound <laughs> I like that. It's like a cool little sound effect. Now that we kind of have like that foundation and that base of our melodies, now I kind of want to start to move on to secondary melodies and just, you know, cool different sounds that we can add to this. I'm gonna add this little lead here. Alright, so I want to add two more things. The first thing that I want to add is like a bell arp, like something like, you know, that just tickles your ears. It sounded a little bit weird, but um, I just want like something like really high pitch, you know, kind of just like, kind of bouncy, you know, like just like a bell arp or something like that. And then I want to add the flute. Usually in Wheezy's melodies, he has just like one thing that kind of stands out from the rest. And that's really what kind of catches your ear. So that's, that's also what I want to do. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect right there. And then this one will go up an octave. Thank you. 
have all the melodies down. I just got that flute down, and now this is what we have in total. I'll just play this for you guys. <laughs> So now onto the drums. So for the drums, what you're gonna need, Wheezy drum kit. In fact, what you can get is is my drum kit. My drum kit is also perfect for this kind of beat. Wheezy drum kits. Um, what else did I say? 808 Mafia drum kits, of course. Those sounds are gonna be perfect for these kind of beats. So let's just start off with. I actually want to start off with an 808. <laughs> hats you just want to do like some regular two steps or you want to do like spaces in between them with like some like little fast quick rolls i'll show you guys what i'm talking about but this is the best way to get like your drum bounce <laughs> I'm talking like rolls like on the one six step like I'm talking quick rolls I pretty much just did a two bar hi-hat loop and I'm just gonna repeat it over and over again I'm also changing the velocity on these just to add like more bounce and just kind of bring it back in and out you know Weezy does this a lot with his beats and especially his drum patterns like right before the clap he does this it's right there <laughs> Pretty much coming to the conclusion i'm just gonna see if i can add like any last minute cool sounds <laughs> Out of freaking boom y'all that is gonna wrap it up for this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end i very much appreciate it hope that you guys enjoyed and hope that you guys learned something as always let me know down in the comments what other tutorials or videos you guys want to see but that is gonna wrap it up you guys can check out my instagram if you want at prod lucent but i will catch you guys in the next video that's it for me i'm out Play that back, Lucy.
lay that back, Lucy.